Well, 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 here we are again. Yet another episode of Brock's Most Hated. I'm Brock Workman, welcome. On today's show, we're gonna take a journey. No, not that journey. Even though I love that journey. Don't Stop Believing makes me wanna cry with joy. No, but a journey through time and space. We will look back at some of the things that either have or have not yet happened when dealing with the wonderful world of science. We begin first with something that I just learned about one week ago, and on this show no less. But I'll let Anna take it from here. For the longest time, there were only four oceans, which is why probably you didn't know that in the year 2000, a fifth ocean was added. Another ocean? What? Ah, oh, you can't. Hey, John, what do you think about that? You can't be serious, man. You cannot be serious! I am serious, John. I mean, you can't just up and create another ocean on a whim like that. Now, nevertheless, I was at best intrigued by this decision. So to shed some light on it, I decided to bring in the expert, Anna Ripa. Anna, please join me on stage. Thank you for having me, Brock. Now, could you please tell the people at home what exactly went into the decision or why they decided to do this? Because the Southern Ocean circulation is different than all the others. Well, that was a disappointing answer. Southern Ocean, <laughs> what a stupid name. They should have called it something cooler like the Brock is Awesome Ocean. Now, moving on to another matter of discovery, but the very bad kind. A few years ago, a crime against basic human knowledge occurred. And not only that, but a crime against nature as well. I just cannot believe what happened to Pluto. Get off and stay off. I just, I don't understand it. Pluto was such a good dog and he's loyal to me. Pluto isn't a planet anymore. Aw, oh, how did this happen? Calm down. Luckily, the Big Bang Theory is here to help. We want you to meet Neil deGrasse Tyson from the Hayden Planetarium in New York. I'm quite familiar with Dr. Tyson. He's responsible for the demotion of Pluto from planetary status. I liked Pluto. <laughs> Ergo, I do not like you. Neil deGrasse Tyson, I must destroy thee. But until we meet, we move on. Now, I am a huge movie and pop culture buff, and growing up, I was really excited and I still am to this day, about one thing that I was promised that we would have by 2012, but we still don't have it. See if you can figure it out from this clip. Now, I have waited my entire life for science to find a way for me to be able to teleport from one place to another, but it hasn't happened, and sadly likely will not happen, at least during my lifetime. The movies have warped my perception of reality, and honestly, that makes me want to cry at night. Brock. Yeah? You, you must believe you can, can do it. it. Okay. Yeah, okay, I'll, I'll try it again. Well, hopefully this time we'll be lucky. Good evening, welcome to Star City News. I'm Kristen Bauer. For tonight's <clears throat> top story, <laughs> I did it! I did it! In your face, world! I can't believe it actually worked. Oh, man. Okay, that is all the time we have this week. Tune in next time. Thanks to all my guests for showing up. Take care. Spike your hair. Good night, everyone. <laughs>